Hello, Wade College students. Congratulations on completing one of the most interesting college terms that I think a student anywhere uh, in the world has experienced. We are so impressed by and proud of so many of you who, despite a number of very serious obstacles, decided that you were not going to let a pandemic prevent you from finishing what you started. I am also so proud of Wade College's faculty and administrators this term. During the spring, within days, we were up and running in our online classes. We've been holding live classes where each of you have been able to see your faculty members and peers' faces, participate in discussions, share your work digitally. And um, I have to say, access to all of us via um, video chats and team instant messenger and uh, screen sharing have really helped us to remain a part of your lives. Um, please don't forget that you guys will have the opportunity to audit these classes again for free in the future um, when they are offered in a regular ground environment. And all of the same support will be here for you this summer, um, but with a few exciting new enhancements that I will get to uh, in my video shortly. So I wanted to jump on video for you today because I know that long emails can sometimes get really overwhelming. And sometimes it's just nice to hear the information um, instead of you know, navigating through a long email. I have several new announcements to share with you. And I also wanna go over a few pieces of information that have already been shared with the college community, but now is kind of a good time to revisit. Please look for six important pieces of information in my video, which I will also uh, bullet point for you in an email. First, today, Thursday, May 14th, 2020, is the last day of the spring trimester. Your professors have until this coming Sunday to enter final course grades into Campus Cafe, and you um, should look at your course grades in Campus Cafe, and then you can send a simple email to me or Dean Johnston uh, to request that your letter grade of A, B, C, or D be converted to a P, as in pass. And P does not have uh, an effect on your GPA. So generally speaking, if you've earned a D in a course, it's probably in your best interest to have that grade of D convert to a P especially if your studies have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Second, speaking of being impacted, if you were making good progress in any course um, through the fifth week of the term, and then our transition to online learning or the COVID-19 pandemic caused you some kind of hardship, you can request an incomplete, that's I grade, either directly through your professor or through me or Dean Johnston, or maybe all of us um, in one simple email. This will give you three additional weeks to complete the work. Third, your summer 2020 schedules have been posted in Campus Cafe, and I want to explain a new format that we have planned for you for summer. Uh, the college will be offering three distinct kinds of courses. They are online, on ground and hybrid. So as we were confirming your schedules with you last week, we received a lot of feedback from you, especially about your desire to have face-to-face -face interaction on campus. So we've identified these three options for you and I'd like to explain each one of them now. First, online courses are courses that the college is offering strictly via Microsoft Teams with other audiovisual plugins depending on the individual faculty member. So this will enable students to stay home, to limit their exposure to other students on campus, and generally these courses can either be completed live or asynchronously. So you probably already know from this term, live means that you are attending courses during your scheduled class time and you're completing your in-class requirements like chats and forums and classwork or projects during the live meeting time. Asynchronous means that students are given the flexibility to do all the same work, but during whatever time works for you best each week, okay? 
The second option is on ground. So these courses are going to meet primarily on campus at Wade College, but not completely. And like all other courses, there will continue to be online components through Microsoft Teams and other plugins. And then third, there is hybrid. You'll see the hybrid distinction um, in Campus Cafe, but also in the email I'm sending you that will recap all of our course offerings for summer 2020 at Wade College. Hybrid means that students have several options to attend either ground in person, uh, to attend online, whether that be live or online asynchronously, meaning again at your own time during each week. We feel confident that giving students these options will help students who really need the in-person connection, but will also help us to continue the necessary social distancing on campus by limiting the number of students who choose to be with us in person. Of course, Wade is going to closely monitor the number of students and employees on campus at any one given time to make sure that everybody is safe. Okay, so those are the three types of courses we're offering. My fourth point in this video is that Wade College is excited to be installing state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment in every classroom on campus next week. So in addition to the state-of-the-art equipment we already own, um, this new equipment is going to enable professors to broadcast live and record high-quality video and audio, but now from multiple angles, including overhead, um, close-up shots for tutorials and demonstrations, drawing, art projects, sewing. We can share apps from our phone. So I think you're going to see um, a huge uh, difference in the type of online instruction that we, uh, that we roll out this summer. Fifth, Wade College is launching a new app, which is now available in uh, the Apple and Android app stores. After this video, go ahead and download the app today. You will see that it houses all of the tools that you guys use at Wade College from Campus Cafe, Jupyter Grades, Microsoft Teams, your Outlook email, Career Connection. It even has a live calendar of events. It has all of your academic dates, the ability to submit payments, and a full directory of all of our faculty and administrators. Okay, sixth and finally, you probably know our summer term will start on Monday, June 1st. For those students who have completed their financial aid documents like FAFSA and have no remaining holds, we will have a curbside registration set up for you. You can either let me or your eCampus coach know what time you would like to report to campus during the first week of the June term. So that's Monday, June 1st through Thursday, June 4th from 9 a.m. in the morning until 7 p.m. in the evening. That is any day of that week, Monday through Thursday. We will bring your books and supplies to you. If you need to come to campus to complete FAFSA or to clear another hold, you can do that over the two weeks of break. You can also do that virtually, of course, but always be sure to make an appointment with the appropriate administrator before you come to campus. And if you're not sure about what holds you might have, simply contact me, I will let you know. I really hope that each of you have a great two-week break and that you come back to us during the week of June 1st, healthy, rested, and ready to take on a new trimester. Thank you, everybody. Bye.